As part of a series of fleet moves, Qantas has revealed plans to purchase several used Airbus A320 family aircraft to help cope with expected delays to new aircraft deliveries. The Qantas Group expects to take delivery of nine Airbus narrowbodies and three Boeing 787s this year. So in this video, we're going to talk about the big new Airbus orders. As announced last year, Qantas has ordered and purchased the right options for up to 299 narrowbody aircraft and firm orders for 12 widebody aircraft with Airbus to update and grow its fleet over the next decade and beyond. The airline group, which comprises mainline operator Qantas and low-cost unit Jetstar, will also boost its Airbus A220 order book by exercising options for nine examples. In addition, Qantas has revealed that three A321P2Fs will see an accelerated entry renewal into the Qantas freight fleet. This subsidiary has enjoyed great success operating the passenger to freighter conversion and will look to continue with the program long into the future. The group has secured options for a further 12 E190 aircraft wet lease from Australian carrier Alliance Airlines. The aim for these E190s is to improve connectivity across the network. Commenting on the midlife aircraft, Joyce said that delivery delays meant that Qantas needed to find other ways to lift capacity in the short term, adding, wet leasing more aircraft from Alliance Airlines will provide a very rapid injection of extra capacity domestically, but with plenty of flexibility to adjust that over time depending on what's happening in the market. Jetstar Asia shrank during the pandemic, but with travel in Asia rebounding, now is the right time to put two aircraft back in. Core to the changes announced is the decision to acquire several midlife A320 family aircraft for freight and resource customers to help offset these delays. Once the delayed aircraft are delivered, the group has the option to retire or retain the aircraft they were originally designed to replace, depending on market conditions. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. This year, the 12 new aircraft that will arrive include 7 Airbus A321LRs for Jetstar, 2 A220s for Qantas Domestic, and 3 Boeing 7879s for Qantas International. While the plan to retire some aircraft may take a backseat until OEMs catch up with their backlog, these 12 new aircraft will bring a multitude of seats into both the domestic and international markets over the next 9 months. The big winners will be customers who have seen airfares rise to levels where they are starting to get out of reach. Apart from Qantas, Rex is adding two more Boeing 737-800s, Bonza has a fleet of four 737 MAX 8s and plans to add four more, and Virgin Australia will receive its first of eight 737 MAXs in a few months. The supply and demand equation is shifting back towards the traveling public, and with prices already tumbling and new generation aircraft arriving, 2023 looks like a good year for Australian travelers. Outlining its fleet strategy for the near term, Qantas says the additional aircraft will help restore capacity faster and meet strong demand from leisure travel, resources, and domestic freight markets. The disclosure comes as Qantas faces delays in taking delivery of new aircraft, says Qantas Group Chief Alan Joyce. Aircraft manufacturers are seeing the same supply chain delays as a lot of other industries, and we've been told that some of our deliveries will be pushed back by up to six months, Joyce adds. When you combine the delays with the sustained growth in travel demand that we're seeing, we need to find other ways to lift capacity in the short and medium term. Qantas is replacing the Boeing 737 and Boeing 717s with the Airbus A321 XLR and Airbus A220s respectively as looks to renew its domestic fleet. According to Planespotters.net data, the carrier 737 and 717s are on average 15.9 and 21 years old, respectively. In total, it operates 79 Boeing 737 and 20 Boeing 717 aircraft. Thank you, Qantas! The airline has announced that it will order 9 more A220 under its ongoing fleet replacement program. Airbus said in a statement posted to Twitter, the original equipment manufacturer, OEM, added that it's looking forward to the airline becoming the first to fly this latest addition to the Airbus family in the Pacific. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment with your thoughts below. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys.